Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. Uh, and in this brief tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can protect your PowerPoint presentations and narrated PowerPoint presentations so that others can't copy information from them, print them, and otherwise use your slides. So I've prepared a narrated PowerPoint. It's got only got two slides. My first slide has me introducing the presentation. You can see it's been narrated because it's got the little speaker icon down the bottom right hand of the picture. And the second slide is just the final slide. Again, it's got a nice little uh, icon there, so it's narrated. And, and I could export this as an MP4 file, um, and I could share it online. But if I want to give uh, my colleagues or students access to the PowerPoint file in order for them to go through the slides at their own pace, listen to my narration, and maybe spend a little bit longer looking at the information, I could just save this PowerPoint file and send it to them. But of course, Anyone then can open the PowerPoint file up and edit it. They can move things around, copy information, and uh, wholesale nick your slides, essentially. So PowerPoint, or Microsoft Office 365, has a um, protection system. And if you go to the File menu in the Mac version, and it's under the Options in the Windows version, and you choose Restrict Permissions, and then choose Restrict Access, you can then type in the name of any person you want to be able to read, change, or have full control over your document. This is my login, and I've got full control over this document. If I just click on this little icon here, it allows everyone to be able to read my document. If I click on this icon, I can add individuals from email addresses that I want to search for. So if you want certain people to be able to read your document, you can assign them here. But if you click on everybody, anybody within your domain will be able to read this file, but they won't be able to edit it. Once you've clicked on OK, you'll see a message appearing to say that permission is currently restricted and only specified users can access this content. We can close that, we don't need to see that again. Then we can save this presentation. So presentation 4 as a PowerPoint file is now saved on my desktop and I can upload this and anybody can load it as long as they enter their username and password, but only specific people, in this case me, can edit it. But what if you don't want people to actually access your presentation and only want them to see your slideshow? Well, this again is fairly straightforward using Microsoft Office. You go to the File menu and you choose Save As. And this time, rather than saving as a PowerPoint presentation, a PPTX, you simply click on this and you choose a PowerPoint show or a PPSX. I'm going to call it presentation 4 and press save and replace the one that's already on my desktop. Now I've got a file which is called presentation4.ppsx and when you click on this file you'll be asked to enter your username and password and if you're me you will be able to edit it. If you're anybody else, it'll simply just play the slideshow. You can move through the show using your cursor keys, but that show is restricted, and as soon as the slideshow is over, and you've reached the last slide, or you progress manually to the last slide, the file will close, and you're unable to open it in PowerPoint to edit. So these are two really good ways of keeping your intellectual property protected against others, but also a great way of sending out these files in order for people to view them without having the problems of having to see the whole presentation and work with the full file. I hope that helps.